Are you ready for the red line? Crews are making and painting lines, adding bus shelters and traffic signs, and making many changes you might not be aware of or understand. The new bus service begins rolling in less than a month in Indianapolis, and our tv 6s Cameron Riddle is live downtown to help you navigate the changes safely. We're seeing a lot of changes on the roads, Cameron. Yeah, that's right, Amanda. One of the places that you are seeing those changes are here at 14th and Capitol. As you can see, Capitol is starting to change, and we're used to seeing traffic going southbound as it is right now. But a site I hope that you certainly never have had to see is a bus going northbound against traffic. But things are changing, and that is a site you better get used to, as Indy's new rapid transit line is literally changing the way we drive. So we asked Hoosiers if they are ready for the red line. It has been talked about for years, and now Indigo's red line is finally taking shape, changing parking and traffic patterns from 66th Street and Broad Ripple to the University of Indianapolis on the south side, and Indiana drivers are less than caught up on what the new traffic lanes mean. Do you know what the red lines mean for the for the red line? I have no idea. The new line brings several things Central Indiana drivers have never seen before, like a traffic lane painted red. So the solid red lines are for the buses only. Those are primarily on College and on Meridian, and then on Capitol as well. Or a lane that is two colors, red and black. What does that mean? I'm guessing that they're making it available for people to be able to park there quickly, like if they have to unload, like an unloading zone. Red and black hashed lines, so those are bus and turn. So primarily for the buses, unless a driver is making a right or left hand turn. And something you don't want to catch you off guard, a bus driving the opposite way on a one way street. I would think I'm crazy or still uh, awake from last night. <laughs> I would jump out of the way. On Capitol, there is a northbound bus only lane, and that's so that we can move transit riders north and south along Capitol. Another feature that every driver and pedestrian needs to be on the lookout for is the new crosswalks, allowing passengers to catch the bus, which in many cases will stop in the center of the street. All of the crosswalks are signalized intersections, so it's safe for pedestrians to cross. Um, we also have some bus signals only, so you're starting to notice those as well. So those will signal for the buses when they need to move ahead of the traffic um, in order to either make a turn or get through the intersection. All right, and so this is that bonus material for uh, that pop quiz. If you missed it, you see right there on Capitol Avenue, on the right side, you have the uh, broken red and black lines. That lane means you can ride with the bus if you are going to make a left turn. In this case, that would be at 13th Street. But I think it's pretty clear here, the red solid means that is only for the bus. And this is one of those platforms that you can see is now in the middle of the street. A bus can pick up passengers on this side and on that side as well. If all of this is still a bit confusing, no worries. You have until September to get it all lined up. We have all the tutorial videos that you will want to see on our website, theandychannel.com and on the RTV6 app. We are working for you live in downtown Indy tonight. I'm Cameron Riddle, RTV6. A lot of new things to get used to. Thanks, Cameron.